Oh man, this is this is serious memories now, folks. Oh man, this intro of Wayne Rooney absolutely skinning Frank Lampard. It's the one and only, it's FIFA 10, ladies and gentlemen. Fernando Torres in this arena gives me all sorts of good sensations. This is probably the, even more nostalgic than the FIFA 07 video. So, hello there everyone and welcome. It is Niran here and today we're playing FIFA 10 career mode. This is honestly, hands down, probably my favourite career mode. That and FIFA 07, but 07 on the PS2. We're going to make this a regular thing. You guys smashed the support on the last one. We're just going to jump into it. Let's get all nostalgic people. Also, I know Jaron HD did a video on FIFA 10 recently. There'll be a link down in the description below so you can check that one out as well after you've seen this video if you want to see a bit more retro FIFA career mode goodness. On top of that, there'll also be a link in the top right of the screen to the video that I did on FIFA FIFA 07 career mode last week. You know what as well? I think the thing that makes me the most nostalgic about these games is actually hearing the soundtrack. The song that I'm hearing right now genuinely sounds as if it should be played in Nando's. This is absolutely amazing. We're going to choose Arsenal this time. We used Liverpool before. Sky Sports, the choice of media company this time instead of the Sun. Big fan of that one, EA. Apparently I can have my own pro in the game for this one. I wasn't very good. I was 15. How old was I when this? I was 13 when I I was playing this game. Oh man. We've actually, at this point, still got sponsors as well. I thought they'd been removed by now, but no, FIFA 10 still had them. We're gonna go with the one that gives us the most money per game. I think that makes sense. Oh, look at this as well. A rating system based on form. Inject it into my veins. Johan Juru was 80 rated. There's tea bags that are better at defending than Johan Juru. How was that man 80 rated? As if we have a player called Tom Cruise. That's absolute, that, what is going on there? And here is the young me, 15 years old, two star skill moves, it's prob it probably sums me up. You get predicted overalls, oh, it's just gonna be like last video where I was just literally orgasming constantly about the game. Playing your players, or young players anyway, made them grow faster. Like, it's such a simple thing and it makes sense. It's the case in real life. I don't understand why this still isn't a thing on FIFA these days. Bakary Sanya, no, I'm sorry. That haircut. That, no, that puts you on some sort of register in this country, Bakary, mate. I know it was quite bad in real life, but this game has made it significantly worse for the geezer. It's like he's got pot noodles attached to the top of his head. There was even transfer rumours on the main page. How sick is that? Patrick Vieira is for sale. I'm bringing him home, boys. We're not bringing him home, boys. Staff upgrades. Staff upgrades still existed. Sound. Why is this not? Th I would love this back on FIFA. Give me a new stadium manager. Thank you very much. You can even set the match ticket prices. We're going to play a match, all right? We're, we're going to play a game. As you can see, we're facing Chelsea in a pre-season friendly. And you get a pre-match report on the team. So you get their usual starting 11. You get a tactics report as well. And if they've got any injuries and suspensions, it'll come up there as well. These kits are a blast from the past. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but on this game, you even got, like, player of the years and, like, young player of the years as well. Absolute perfection. Oh, look at this. I forgot about this. You had the little arena in the stadium before you started the game. Abu Dhabi, mate. Come on now. Let's get a grip, sunshine. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, those graphics. The fans are already going mental. The game hasn't started, boys. Come on now. Referee there, checking the net integrity. You didn't even touch the net, sunshine. Petr Cech is wearing the same kit as his outfield players. The referee today is Derek Milporo. Oh, my goodness me. I remember that one. Okay, Drogba's in. Drogba is in. Drogba has chipped me. But he's not succeeded. Just realised we've got Andy Gray on commentary on this game. I hope this one comes with a blatant sexism warning. You know what I don't understand about the slide tackles on these old school games? You can be running in one direction and you just slide in a completely different one. Where's the physics, mate? How, how have I gone from running forwards to sliding sideways? I mean, the game's just nonced me there, hasn't it? Why am I playing Denilson? This is where it's all falling apart. Chelsea have yet to make much of an impact on this game. Right, I'm not being funny. Martin Tyler's just said that Chelsea are yet to make an impact on the game. They've had all the shots in the whole game. They're dominating it, Marty lad. 
I've not got a Solomon Kalu. how he's managed to miss that one. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Sharvin, we got a chance here with Robin Van Persie. I'm actually terrible. I'm horrendous. Now I'm moving on to a different game now. Thank you very much. You'll see me playing Sims 4 from now on. No sign of a break in the weather, and certainly no sign of a break in the rain. Are they not the same thing, Martin? Nah, these commentators are booky. Fabregas. Oh my god, Fabregas. Lift some dumbbells, man. It's not difficult. It's into Fabreg- Fabregas has not done a single thing right all game. I'm determined. I'm gonna win this game. I'm not gonna win this game. I've seen the light. It's nil-nil. That is the end of the game. Man of the match was Ricardo Carvalho. And I think that really says it all. Oh, wow. You get a weekly board summary. I didn't even clock that one. Okay. So whenever you play a game, the board decide whether they think you're terrible now or whether they think you're good. I'm going to play one more game. I'm going to play Wolves away at Ivy Lane. We love a bit of Ivy Lane, don't we? I'd just like to point out, I've not scored a single goal. Like in a game, in the arena, I'm actually terrible. I don't know why these fans in the back background keep getting up because they're not going to see a goal. You're just wasting your time. You're just doing unnecessary cardio. We're in deep trouble here, guys. I think we might be struggling. My specialty's actually always been Pez. Now that I think about it in a lot of detail, I think it's fair to say that is probably a foul. As well, I've got to say, you could argue contact has been made. There's a small clip of the ankles here. To be honest, I'd send it to VAR personally. Almunia. Oh, he saved it! Manuel Almunia is a hero of the FNG channel. Oh, Chauvin! Oh, he's put it wide, you absolute skit! That was the one chance. I'm not gonna get any other chances, Andre. You should have known this by now. We should be winning. We, I mean, we'll forget about Wolves having had the penalty and all of the chances in the game and the majority of the possession, but it really is goals galore out here. The board confidence has gone down. It's too early to to get a good read on your performance, but you've still decided that I'm not very good after that. I think this is the only time I have ever seen a table be in reverse alphabetical order. Right, I'm sorry, I'm not accepting this footage. It's it's next goal wins. We're gonna play this game until there's a goal. And for the love of God, it better be against Valenciennes. I say next goal wins. It's literally first goal wins. There's, there's, there's no next goal about it. There hasn't been any goals so far. This is Eduardo brought down on the edge of the area. The, the goalkeeper runs out for no reason. I know we're dicking around, but I'm not playing anymore, okay? This is this is it now. We're, I'm scoring. I, I'm not scoring. Oh, this is the moment. This could be the moment. Oh, no, it's Cesc Fabregas. It's... Cesc Fabregas is the most useless player in FIFA history. Denilson! Oh my god, can you imagine? If of all people, Denilson had banged it top bins. Oh, Guy Cliche, she's done a madness here. Kyle Clichy's done a madness. He's got a man in the middle. It's done it. Oh, Charvin has done it. I don't believe it. It's only taken two and a half games, but it's finally happened. We've won. Andre Arshavin has won it for Arsenal against a second tier French club. And I'm celebrating like I've won the Champions League final. And I think that says it all about my FIFA capabilities. We are done, ladies and gentlemen. That has been playing FIFA 10 career mode and I hope you have enjoyed. If there's any other retro FIFAs you want me to play, drop them down in the comment section below. But if you've enjoyed this video, slap a like on it, subscribe if you're new to the channel and you can also follow me on social media these days too. My Twitter and Insta are at the official FNG and links are down below. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a great day, enjoy yourselves and goodbye. Is it me? Is it me?